I think we're gonna go there. I'm not gonna fall. I won't fall. Don't worry. <laughs> a lot of domestic traveler. Bang Bien used to be very lively, lots of tourists, but now it's, it's dead. Good morning. So another day, another adventure. Uh, me and my backpacks, we are waiting right here uh, beside the road. Uh, after more than three kilometers of walking, look at me and sweat from head to toe. So I'm gonna wait for the bus that leaves from Yantian and pass by to Wang Wing. Uh, so I'm gonna take from here to Wang Wing and I'm gonna spend at least the night there. Hi everyone, so I just made it to Wang Wiang. Uh, it took me a little bit more than three hours from Vientiane this morning. Um, again, it's by truck. Not truck, it's like this kind of taxi that got me hanged, you know, at the bottom of the, of the, the vehicle again. It was quite challenging. I got a little bit car sick, so it was... Anyhow, I made it here, so I'm so happy to be back. I've been here a while ago, and back then it was... Again, it was a lot more busy and now it seems very quiet. So I made a stop at this little restaurant by the bus station and I'm gonna have some fried rice before I walk to, the, to town. You see the view down there? Those are the mountains. So, um, Bang Bang is famous for outdoor activities like trekking, you know, rock climbing, tubing, cycling, biking, and some other activities. Uh, camping up on top of the mountains as well so I think I'm gonna rent a uh, bicycle and then uh, cruise around that's probably the best uh, way to discover this little beautiful town <laughs> anyhow when you get to Wang Wiang you don't need a, when you arrive at the bus station uh, southern bus station you don't need a taxi to get to town it's very close you just walk there as you can see from here, it's just only 10-15 minutes and it gets you to the center. But if you arrive at the northern bus station, let's say if you come from Luang Prabang or uh, other province from the north, then you will have to take taxi because it's quite far from town. But if you arrive from Vientiane or from the south, you don't need it. Uh, so anyway, I made it here. Okay, I'm gonna have my Coke myself uh, because I got car sick and it was so <laughs> embarrassing and horrible quite refreshing so glad I made it back <laughs> um, this is my lunch it's fried rice with pork and eggs with some little bit of soup haven't had this for so long so I can't wait to have it Here in this area, it used to be here for a long time ago. Okay, no one here, just only these two boys. Hello. Not too bad, isn't it? Let's rock. Okay, I just checked in and here is the room. So there are 10 bunk beds in one room and so far it looks like I already have two guests and three including myself. Uh, so the room cost 82,000 k, which is about six dollars and a half or something and it's breakfast included which is not too bad. So I just booked only one night. I may extend tomorrow or I may go back to Lone Bank. In the evening, I'll see. It's not too bad, isn't it? Uh, now it's 5 p.m. and I decided to rent a bicycle, this mountain bike, and I'm gonna cycling around the town and then a little bit outside because I gotta see something. So I got here at 12:30 and then it was raining so hard. Uh, I stopped uh, an hour ago. I thought I was gonna see sunset this evening, but as you can see here, it's pretty cloudy, so sure, there won't be any sunset for today. But anyway, um, as I'm here for a short time, I have to push myself, you know, I have to go out there and see something, otherwise, I'll waste my time like I wasted in the NTN. 
So Bangvia is famous for sceneries and other activities. Uh, so why not just go out there and see some scenery? Hmm? <laughs> okay, shall we? I'm not very familiar, you know, using one hand riding this mountain bike. I'm more used to with regular bike. But unfortunately, it's not available, only this one available. So I paid 20,000 kip, which is about a dollar and 50 cents for a uh, three hours ride. This is from the hostel. Anyway, I just feel like I have to push myself a little bit extra hard because I have less time, I have to do something. Still very tired, but hey, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this area is very familiar, you know, like I said, I've been here before uh, many, many times. Nothing changed here. Only that it's so quiet compared to before. I mean, Vang Vieng is the second most visited places in Laos and is so famous for outdoor activities. Lots of kayaking, tubing, hike, you know, cycling, hiking. Um, motorbiking and uh, rock climbing beautiful viewpoints uh, it attracts lots of uh, adventure tourists like backpackers I mean it's very similar to Pai if you've been to Pai in Thailand in northern Thailand this is it they're very similar And this is Nam Song River. You see, like I said, kayaking is one of the most famous activities here. So everyone coming to Wang Vieng has to do kayaking. Not for me though. I've done a lot when I was <laughs> working in tour company. Hello. So those are restaurants. I think we're gonna go there. You see the view? It's amazing, isn't it? So Wang Vieng, the city itself is not very big, it's very small. This Amari, the new hotel, is blocking the view of Bang Vieng. When it first built, many people got so angry, including myself. I mean, it's just... I don't know why they put it here. Because before that, you can see the view of Bang Vieng from far distance, you know, all those mountains. But since this hotel is blocking it, you have to go behind. Bangvian used to attract loads of Korean and Japanese tourists before the pandemic. Uh, Gosh, this bike is not so handy. I'm not very comfortable you know, with one hand.
Uh, this is Joaquin Street. I'll come check it out later. Or it's closed. I mean, it's 5.20 now. It should be open. Go down here and cross over the bridge. Oops. You see, like I said, one hand is not very. It's so bumpy. ที่ทะเลสาบอันที่ป่ะคนติดจังหมอนะคุณอ่าสิบสองคนอ๋อโอเคจะมาเกี่ยวกับแล้วอันนี้คุยอย่างไรสิสิคุยอย่างขวาข
before that you will see loads of tourists on their motorbike and bicycle you know all coming back and forth in this area because it's the main uh, road to see all those uh, beautiful sightseeing like you know rock climbing wool lagoon caves and uh, rice paddy fields and all kinds of things but now is that Looks like we're gonna see some sunset today. Look! Oh, this is it. This is kind of things that I want to see. I mean, I prefer nature being in a small place. Uh, sometimes I don't mind being in a big city like Bangkok. Ooh, it's beautiful. Look. You see that? <laughs> That's spectacular. Ooh. Sunset! Okay, I think I'm gonna turn back. I can't go any further because it's getting late. Those, you see some cows over there? Sorry, the restaurants beside the river. So one of the best ways to discover Wang Viang is getting the boat, getting on a boat. So you hire the boat and cruise from you know, down there up so you can see more sceneries. On the opposite, you have this. Wow. A lot of domestic travelers, anyway. Another beautiful bank 
Nobot. I'm gonna make a stop a little bit and take some photos. Did you see people kayaking down there? Like I said, Wang is very popular for kayaking. Make it stolen and then I'll have a problem. Just carry it down, it's not too heavy. Alright, just put it here. Boom. There you go. Many, many small long tail boats. So this is it, this is Namsong River. Uh, this is one of the most famous activities, buggy car. Korean people love it. Hey sweetie. Uh -huh. You little boy. Let me see if I can something here. And this is my bicycle. <laughs> oh, look at this nuggets. And turtle. What's up, man? It's the train. So I decided to make a stop for dinner in this restaurant beside the river and this little boy is helping his mom cooking dinner for me. That's very sweet of him. <laughs> the hotels are being constructed so it's about to finish. Should be ready for the high season. It's very nice, just right beside the bridge. Sink for washing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, like I mentioned before earlier in my previous video, that you know Buddhist people uh, respect Nagas because it's a sign of protection and um, power, and they are the guardians or the protector of the oceans and river. And as you can see here. So this property is right beside the river and they have these two nagas right in here, you know, facing the river. <laughs> My dinner had just been served, so it's the uh, stir-fried pork with omelette and rice and some chili here with fish sauce. I love it. My one of my favorite menus. Like I eat it all the time in Thailand, just love it.
Well, you know what, coming back here after a long time, it kind of, you know, makes me sad because it's so quiet. I mean, it's such a waste. Bang Bien used to be very lively, lots of tourists, but now it's, it's dead. I mean, I've been cycling all around the place today and I barely see any tourists. You know, just a few of them and it's really sad on me because the local people need it. You know, they need the tourists to boost the economy and people are just not yet coming. So if you're thinking of coming to Laos, I think this is perfect timing because it's not yet crowded. You know, in a bit during the high season, it's going to be very, very crowded, I'm sure. That is scary. I'm not gonna fall. I won't fall. Don't worry. <laughs> I love my adventure. Okay, just dragging my bicycle across back to the city. Beautiful local town. So quiet, it kind of breaks my heart. Oh, come visit Bang Bien, please. It's such a beautiful city. It's the waste to leave it like this. Oh wow, look at this. Big green statue that's going in there. Wow. Pretty impressive. This reminds me of the, uh, sorry, the Lord Shiva statue in Pokhara in uh, Nepal. I think this is Tara, the god from Buddhist mythology, the green one. Wow. Let's go back from where I came. Otherwise, I'll get lost. I can, I can easily get lost in a tiny place like this. You know what? My first time traveling outside of Luang Prabang was here in Bang Bien after I left the temple, and I got completely lost. Can you believe it? Well, that was my first time. So I went for a walk, and I couldn't find my way back to my guest house. So I decided to hire a taxi to take me back. It was very funny. How can I get lost in this tiny place?
Yep, I found my way. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for today. So I'm gonna turn out the camera. So uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we're gonna visit the cave, Blue Lagoon, and the viewpoint for sure. So night night for today. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. Bye.